Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and today we're comparing two mouses from Aki. So first things first, we have the extra large Aki mouse pad as you can see and uh, it, is, it really is extra large. Um, it's very, very good. It, it has anti-slip on the back as you can see and it just works very well. It's very soft and really neat. So uh, I would definitely recommend checking this out. And then we have the two mouses, of course. So this is the first one, this is the gaming mouse, and this is a more ergonomic styled mouse. This is also a Bluetooth mouse, and this is a cable mouse, as you can see. So the feeling of the mouse, I have to say, this one feels best in hand. Uh, it feels very well, it has that uh, bend over here in the side, and it just feels very well. Uh, only thing that's a bit annoying is these buttons, they are uh, very close, as you can see. So that's a little bit annoying, but overall this feel on this one is very good. Uh, it has the USB stick inside the, uh, the mouse, of course. You have to put this one inside your computer. And it carries uh, one AA battery inside. So the weight distribution is also very good. And it also has, as you can see, LED lighting over here. So that's uh, very nice. You can change the speed of the mouse by pressing this one, change DPI, and uh, very, very neat. Next one is the gaming mouse. This has a bit more buttons, so it has a button over here, as you can see, button over here and over here, and again, a DPI button. So it's a braided cable, which is always very nice. It doesn't get tangled. Cable is long enough, as you can see, and yeah, the scrolling wheel is also very well built, very good quality. Uh, it's also RGB, so this has color on it and um, yeah very good mouse as well but what are some negative things on the mouse as well uh, on this one i have to say the connection on mac at least uh, tends to go away when i plug it in for example and i put my hand over here and i don't have any connection to the mouse so that's pretty annoying also on mac you can't install the uh, the program to change the buttons over here the configuration program uh, you can't install it on Windows, it works over there, but not on Mac. So that's a bit annoying. Uh, only thing this these do on Mac uh, is scrolling, I think. So um, I hope Aki also provides a Mac installation, which would be very nice. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, as for the clicking and speed, it works very well. You have to get used to it because it's a pretty weird fit, uh, in my opinion. It's, it's very ergonomic, but if you're using it, it's pretty weird. Uh, but if you're used to it, very good mouse. This one I like the most, actually. Uh, it doesn't need any batteries uh, whatsoever. So just plug it in and it works perfectly. Um, again, you can't change the buttons over here. But uh, it just really feels like a gaming mouse. It's very fast. It clicks very fast, as you can see. And I really like that. Let's connect them to my Mac. <laughs> I can connect two mouses, how cool is this? So I just connected two mouses to my Mac and I can both use them as you can see. If I want to change uh, the fastness of the mouse, I just press here and you'll see that it goes very much faster, <laughs> that it goes faster. I press again, again faster, I press again, even faster and I press one more time and now it's very slow as you can see again, so it's a cycle. Press again, faster, press again, press again. Press again, very fast, very, very fast, and now again, slow. Same with this one. So regular speed, press again, press again, press again, slow. I had a feeling that this one is a bit faster, it has a, a faster speed than this one, but uh, it's not really noticeable. It's a bit annoying that you can't change the buttons on Mac, but uh, yeah, they're mainly based for Windows. I hope there's a version for Mac as well uh, that are going to release, uh, maybe in the future, so I'll keep my eyes out for that. But overall, I have to say, this one, um, I really like the ergonomic fit. It's not for editing. I wouldn't recommend this one for editing. It's more like some quick browsing, some quick uh, internet, for example, some quick YouTube. That works perfectly if you don't have to press a lot. Um, if you just have to scroll a bit and press a bit, it's going to be very fine. If you have to press a lot, for example, editing and stuff, I would definitely recommend this one because uh, it's flat. You just can lay your hands on it and uh, it will work perfectly fine and uh, you don't need a uh, battery. battery run, batteries run out, so uh, if you're editing your battery runs out, can't use it anymore. So this one, safe option, very nice for editing, not so good for editing, more for uh, some regular browsing and stuff. So yeah, both very good mouses, very good price as well and would definitely recommend both this one for editing, this one for browsing. 
Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding these two mouses or the mouse mat even, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. If you liked this video, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve and I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.